Arsenal fan TV. Just sitting here, you know what? I'm still depressed after yesterday. It's Monday morning. Uh, got to travel up to uh, Liverpool this morning to do the social club show that we do every Monday on um, the Ball Street channel. I've got a pair on that and talk about Arsenal. And I was just sitting there just thinking, you know what? I could do it out of this trip today. Um, I'm still so depressed about the performance yesterday. It was just frankly terrible. You know, when I look at the state of Manchester United, you know, we're not going up there to face the Manchester United teams of old when you're going up there and they've got Roy Keane or Ruud van Nistelrooy or Rooney in his pomp or even last season, you know, when they had like Rooney, Di Maria. We went up there. And when I saw that team sheet yesterday, I thought to myself, this is it. If we can't beat this lot, come on. This is the big opportunity. And what do we do? Manchester United, who <laughs> practically every game they've played this season, they haven't scored in the first half. Literally every single game they've played, it's nil-nil at halftime. We concede two. It was almost as if, because the pressure was on us, to win that game, we just just bottled it, just again. And you know what? I got a message to I got a message to the bottlers in Arsenal's team. Um, maybe you don't realise sometimes how much the fans hurt by these results, but we really hurt with these. And it's, it's football, and it happens, right? And I've got mates who support Queens Park Rangers and clubs like that who they got to go through this a lot, but you know. It is football and you lose games, but it's the manner in which Arsenal lose games. It's the manner in which they bottle it. And my message for those bottlers are, you're very fortunate, you're in a fortunate position and that you've, despite Arsenal not playing good for a very long time, we've still got a chance to win the title. We've got two games coming up against Swansea and our deadliest rivals, Tottenham Hotspur. If you've got anything about you, if you want to prove to Arsenal fans that you're not bottlers. Those Arsenal fans that were up there yesterday travelled all the way up to Manchester, like myself, three, four hours drives to get home. Um, Arsenal fans around the world, Arsenal fans who happened to go into work this morning and get ribbed up by not just Man United fans, fans of every club. People like me who are getting absolutely slaughtered. <laughs> but that, that goes with the territory. Um, if you want to redeem yourself... Go out there in those next two games and put in a proper performance that you, as a professional, and also the fans can be proud of. Go out there, put Swansea to the sword, and then go to Tottenham and show Tottenham why we are the best team in North London and why we want to win the league this season. Show your fans. Show some passion. Go out there, take it to Tottenham, beat Tottenham on their turf. That is the only way you're going to redeem yourself right now because the fans are very low, you know. You would have seen the interviews from Arsenal fans yesterday on Arsenal Fan TV. And I know, you know what, you get fans say to us sometimes, oh, you know what, what why have you got videos that are going up that are negative? Listen, if it's, if it's a big win, all the fans are happy. If it's a bad loss like yesterday, a very sort of typical loss by Arsenal, fans are going to vent. And this is the whole point of Arsenal Fan TV. We are an honest channel. We ain't going to try and hide it away, the fact that fans are disappointed. Fans are disappointed, very disappointed. And they think that Arsenal's players, just like a lot of pundits, I heard Graham Soonis on Sky, and I think he got his spot on, a lot of pundits and a lot of uh, ex-players, Ian Wright, I heard what he had to say. I thought he was right. A lot of... Fans of other clubs, they think that Arsenal players are bottle jobs. That when it comes down to those crucial games that they have to win, when the pressure is on, they always flop. You've got two pressure games coming up. Let's just focus on these two. Swansea on Wednesday night, Tottenham Hotspur, North London Derby away, which we haven't done very well over the past couple of years, it's going to be very tough. Tottenham are playing very well, despite the rivalry, whatever we want to say about Tottenham. If we're being deadly honest, they are playing way better than we are at the moment. But we still got better quality than them. Those players need to go to those two games, stand up and be counted, 
put in some performances and get two wins to get this title race back on track. Because at the moment, it's just looking like typical old Arsenal who bottled it. I saw players there yesterday hiding. Theo Walcott hardly touched the ball in that game. Theo is one of the most senior players in that team. A guy that I'm always backing. A guy that I, I, I love to see do well. But at the moment, if he doesn't pull his socks up, if he doesn't start putting the performances in, you can see why fans say, you know what, get rid of it. You can see why. It's, this is, this week is the most important week in Arsenal season. The next two games, I feel, go about them Barcelona games and we're going to win the Champions League. These two games coming up are the biggest games this year, or well, this season for Arsenal and they have to win them. Do they have the balls to do it? That's what we're going to find out. Okay, time to leave out. <laughs> Go for a load of stress up there. Um, I suppose the Liverpool guys won't be able to give me too much grief because they flopped as well in the final. Um, listen, by the by days. Um, don't forget to check out all of our videos from yesterday. Uh, yeah. See you later. Subscribe to Arsenal Fun TV. I'd love a really top world-class shrink to come into the club and find out what's going on because there's deep-rooted psychological problems within the team. that before, a world-class shrink, and you're probably That's right. That's what we need. Forget a world-class striker. We need a top psychologist to come into the club at London Colney and, and assess what is going on up there. It's not that I haven't got the technical ability. We've got some of the best players in the league.